हेलो गाइस दिस इज रेवन फ्रॉम डिजी इंटीग्रेटिव वेलकम टू टेक न्यूज एपिसोड 142 Poco F3 GT price in India starts at rupees twenty six thousand nine ninety nine. The key specifications include a six point six seven inch AMOLED display, MediaTek Dimensity thousand two hundred processor, and a sixty four megapixel triple rear camera and a five thousand mAh battery. Poco F3 GT comes with a gaming triggers, Dolby Atmos support, and a GT switch. If we talk about the prices, the Poco F3 GT price in India is for rupees twenty six thousand nine ninety nine for the base model, which has a six GB of RAM and a one twenty eight GB of storage. The next con- configuration as 8 GB RAM and a 128 GB storage it cost at rupees 28999 the third and the most expensive variant packs a 8 GB RAM and a 256 GB of storage it will set you back by rupees 30999 the Poco F3 GT will be available at lower prices for the first two weeks the week one price for the Poco F3 GT is set for rupees 25999 and rupees 27999 and rupees 29999 rupees respectively this Offer is there until August second. The week two price is set for rupees twenty six thousand four ninety nine for the base model and rupees twenty eight thousand four ninety nine for the second model and at rupees thirty thousand four ninety nine for the third model. And this offer will be there till August ninth. The Poco F three GT pre order starts from July twenty fourth at well known and the first sale is on July twenty sixth at well known. Realme Watch 2, Realme Watch 2 Pro, Realme Buds Wireless 2, Wireless 2 Neo and Buds Q2 Neo have been launched in India. Realme Watch 2 series feature a color touch screen display and have a support for 100 plus watch faces, 90 sport modes, blood oxygen and a heart rate monitor. Realme Buds Wireless 2 comes with an active noise support, Sony LDAC high resolution audio and a 13.6 mm bass boost driver. If we talk about the prices, Realme Watch 2 price is set for rupees 3499 but a Early bird prices around two thousand nine ninety nine Indian rupees. For the Watch Two Pro, the price is set for rupees four thousand nine ninety nine. But for this watch, they don't have any early bird offer. If we talk about the price of Buds Wireless Two, it comes for rupees two thousand nine ninety nine. But the early bird price is around thousand nine ninety nine Indian rupees. If we talk about Buds Wireless Two Neo, it comes for thousand four ninety nine Indian rupees. But the early bird price is around thousand three ninety nine Indian rupees. For the Buds Q Two Neo, it comes for rupees thousand Thousand five ninety nine, but the early bird price is around thousand two ninety nine. Poco X3 GT launch date is set for July 28. The brand has confirmed that the Poco X3 GT will feature the MediaTek Dimensity 1100 processor and a 67 watt charging speed. The key specifications also include a 6.6 inch LCD panel, 64 megapixel triple rear camera, and a 5000 mAh battery. Samsung Galaxy A22 5G is the company's first 5G Galaxy A series phone in India. The key specifications include a 6.6 inch Full HD Plus display, Dimensity 700 processor, 48 megapixel primary camera on the back, and a 5000 mAh battery. Samsung Galaxy A22 5G price in India start from rupees 19,999. Sony has struggled to keep up with the demand as the PS5 went out of stock within seconds upon hitting shelves. According to the new report, the PS5 India restock is due on July 26. The listing of the disc edition, which is priced at rupees 49,990, other retailers like Amazon, Flipkart, BJ Sales, Games Workshop, Chroma, etc., are also likely to accept pre-orders for the Sony gaming console. Samsung is expected to launch the Galaxy Z Flip 3 and Galaxy Z Fold 3 sometime next month. A new patent has just surfaced that reveals the possible design of a future foldable smartphone from the brand. The South Korean tech giant has filed a new patent that Vipo, the World Intellectual Property Office, earlier this year, which has recently been granted. The patent arrives certain design sketches that depreciate a calm self-folding handset that houses a rotating camera on the hinge, which means that it could be feature a Galaxy Z Flip model. Model in future, and this patent focus on the unique camera module of the smartphone. The module is capable of rotating upwards and backwards, which allows it to take images from different angles. The OnePlus 9 and the OnePlus 9 Pro were delisted by the Geekbench for manipulation. This happened when a report by Anand Tech revealed that the device's throttle performance of select popular apps did not do such things while running a benchmark applications. Interestingly, the company itself confirmed it's doing it now. It has even announced a solution for the same. Nokia 110 4G has been launched in India. Its specifications include a QQ VGA screen, expandable storage, 1080 mAh battery, and a 0.8 megapixel camera. Nokia 110 4G price in India is set at rupees 2799. 
Lava Z2S has been launched in India. Its specifications include a 6.51 inch HD Plus display, an unspecified MediaTek Helio chipset, 32 GB storage, and a 5000 mAh battery. Lava Z2S price in India is set for Rs. 7,099. InfoHedge, the earliest and biggest backer of Zomato, have seen the value of its stake in the company skyrocket to rupees 15,000 crore or 1,050 times its initial investment of rupees 4.7 crore. On Friday, Zomato became the first new age unicorn to list on the Indian stock exchanges. The stock, which opened at rupees 115 a share, rose nearly 10% to the end of the day at rupees 126. InfoHedge first invested in the company in 2010 and held around 18.5% in the Gurgaon based startup before the listing. It sold around 2.32% of its stack or 4.93 crore shares as a part of the offer for sale during the IPO but continues to hold around 15.23% in the company. A stake valued at Rs 15,000 crore as of July 23rd. A couple of new lens protective glass composites dubbed Gorilla Glass DX and DX Plus. These are technically not new as they have been covering smartwatches displays since 2018. But the transition to camera lenses required plenty of tweaking to durability and light transmittance. The coring states that the Gorilla Glass with DX and DX Plus offers advanced optical performance, superior scratch resistance and a durability compared to regular smartphone lens covers. ZTE is developing its own memory expansion technology that offers a whooping 8GB boost in virtual RAM that will boost the Axon 30 5G from 12GB RAM to 20GB of RAM. Honor has scheduled an event for August 12 to unveil the Honor Magic 3 series. Now, as per Honor Live's official Vivo account, the brand may also announce a new high-end tablet called Honor V7 Pro at the launch conference. The company has shared a short teaser video showcasing the product design. Additionally, a leakster has revealed the chipset that will be powering the tablet. The forthcoming Honor V7 Pro premium tablet will be the first tablet in the world to be powered by an unreleased MediaTek Dimensity 1300T processor. A couple of months ago, Oppo launched its latest Renault series flagship smartphone. The Oppo Renault 6 lineup, which includes three phones, Renault 6, Renault 6 Pro and Renault 6 Pro Plus, now a new version of the top-end variant is launching next week. Oppo has now taken to Vivo and confirmed that the company will be launching Oppo Renault 6 Pro Plus Detective Canon Custom Edition and more information about this upcoming product will be revealed next week. Thanks for watching this video. Please kindly support my channel by giving a like, share and subscribe and follow DG Integrity on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook.